Hey, it's Mike back with you with another video. I noticed when I unmasked the uh, trick ski, which is what we're still working on, I had a few places in the white that needed some touching up. So rather than use my airbrush, I decided to go ahead and mix up uh, some paint in my little Iwata gun. I want to show you this gun. I, I know I showed it to you in another video, but this is a handy little piece. This cup swivels. See, it's off to the side and it swivels. So you can literally have this gun straight up and down. You can move this cup to uh, compensate for where you've got it. This is an Iwata LPH 50. Iwata LPH 50. You can go to uh, tctglobal.com where I get a lot of my uh, body shop supplies. You can just save yourself so much money. And I think it's 50 bucks. You get over 50 bucks or something like that. You get free shipping. So uh, definitely recommend that. TCP Global. Uh, it's affiliated with eBay. So you can go to eBay and search body shop supplies. And it'll pop right up to uh, tcpglobal.com. But anyway, uh, this is the Dell Fleet Essential Line. This is a single stage, kind of like the old enamels. But we're going to use this to touch up on this uh, ski because this is the base color, uh, base system we used. So what I've done is I've got my mixing cup here, which is a PPT cup. You're using six one-to-one -one on this. So what I did is I went to that first little one right there with my paint. All right, that's six parts. Then this next little one, which you can see there's not hardly any difference in these two here. So the next one, you'll go with your hardener, and then the next little one, you'll go with your activator. So it's a six one-to-one -one ratio. So you're using the uh, 911 667 pure white ESH, ESH 200 ESX 500. I'm using the fast activator just a touch up panel and it's uh, like 30 some degrees outside so we're going to use this system here. Alright, so let's go in the booth, get this mixed up. Now here's another thing, use your screen, use your paint screen. So what I did is I uh, poured out of these cans right in the cup through the screen. Alright, stirred it real good with my stick. Alright, then I take the screen right into the gun. So go right into the gun with your screen and screen it again. There's nothing wrong with double screen it. You'll have a lot better uh, end product when you do that, especially doing it through your airbrush. You're going to want to double screen stuff because uh, airbrush is so sensitive that you'll get a lot of small particles that you may not see with the naked eye. In through your airbrush, it's going to plug up the nozzles and eventually yeah, screw up your airbrush. So you can see here when I unmask this, you can see just a few places. This is where I, and it's my fault, I sanded through. I went too far when I sanded. So what I've done is I've took frisket paper, went over my artwork that we've already done. Okay, so the decals we've already put on with the airbrush and went over them. Now here's another thing. Instead to not have a hard edge, and I'm not going to blow up next to this, but to not have a hard edge, just pull these back. Just pull this stuff back, and you won't have a hard edge. It'll kind of it leaves a softer edge. You can see this one better. You can see how I did it. I just kind of pull these edges back, and because I'm going to paint right up next to here. Now down there I won't, but up here I will. So I'm just going to drift it. You'll see it as I do it. I'm just going to drift it. And it allows it to kind of drift up underneath here uh, and you won't have that hard edge to deal with later now what will happen if if you let this paint go up against a hard edge like this up against a, a line edge like this you're going to have a hard edge and it's just something you got to deal with later so uh, we're just going to not do that by just raising these edges a little bit i'm going to set the phone down hook my uh I have air hose up here and we'll get started. Alright, so I'm just gonna blow a little bit of paint through this. Another thing I'm gonna do is I've got you can see on here I've got uh, 
I've got too many pounds going through this, and I'm trying to hold the camera and do all this at the same time. It's just a little bit tricky. Hear the difference? So what I did is I turned down. So I've turned it down so it's soft. So I'm just going to blow. Kind of drift some paint on some of these places. That's actually not quite enough air, so I'm going to turn that up a little bit. Okay. This side, make sure we get that edge good. So that's pretty much it. I'll see you in the next video. What we'll do is we'll uh, we'll start the clear coat process. See you in the next video.